All right, welcome everyone. We are still at Intel 2024 here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm with Rob Clark from Seeker. And Seeker is a sorry, great to meet. It is great to meet you. Yeah, (laughs) wonderful. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely awesome to have you here. Um, Seeker is one of our customers, and they're actually working with us on the Intel Developer Cloud. So maybe before we get started, maybe talk us a bit about Seeker and tell us about Seeker why you were doing what you were doing. Give us a bit of background. Fantastic. Look, easy. Society needs it right now. So we're, we're really building trusted AI. Okay. So we're dealing with a number of problems. Number one is not all content is created equal. That's out there right now. Like almost sounds pretty obvious, but a lot of algorithms, a lot of different systems, they're all popularity. We're trying to deal with trust. We're trying to deal with um, solving problems with transparency, with reliability. So number one, we score content. We look at image. We look at video. We're looking for things like um, coordinated, inauthentic behavior. Mm -hmm. We're looking for synthetic, but ultimately we want some level of quality to be assessed. And then number two, as we build these systems, generative systems that output content, how can we ensure that they're a good outcome? How do we know it's not error, bias, hallucination? Because we scored that content, we validated it, and we know exactly what came out of it. And so you give attestation to your customers as well? That's it. So attestation, explainability, um, contestability. You'll start to hear that word even more. It's like, how can you have a system that could be making a decision about your life, about things you do? You can't see the output or you can see the output, but you don't know the reasoning. You don't know the transparency and why it came up with it. How could you ever contest or have more input into it as well? Okay. Rob, who are your customers? Fantastic. So... We've, we've really, almost, almost any vertical has some form of benefit on okay. AI, but our approach is just, it's, not, think, it's not just government as well. No. <laughs> not just the government, but obviously they they yeah. love this level of information. When you have a system and a platform running on Gaudi right now and IDC, which we're super excited about, and I'll talk about the performance and what we've seen, but obviously government to see that level of information. To um, I think it was a fantastic talk this morning around how do we discuss topics? We have what we call a civility score. The Seeker civility score, patented, it doesn't rate what you're talking about. It really rates um, how you're talking about it. How can we have discourse that's civil and discuss topics we all need to discuss, regardless of polarization, regardless of politics, and then at the same time? So you've been working with my team and the Intel team for some time. We have. But a couple of months, or maybe eight months ago, I think, that's I started to zoom in on the Intel Developer Cloud. That's uh, Maybe you can tell us a little bit why you decided to do that and how does it feel working with Intel on the Intel Developer Cloud? Fantastic question. How does it feel? <laughs> no, if it, it feels wonderful. So eight months ago, nine months ago, we found ourselves as, as these models needed to get larger, bigger, but also more precise, more accurate. And the amount we're processing all of those images, all of that video, all of those um, pieces of content, audio, we needed compute and we needed compute at scale. So obviously, we looked around. We're, f- we're familiar with other contemporaries in the space. And we, um, we, ca- we came across IDC. And really, we came across Liftoff Program, IDC. And really, we started to say about Gaudis. Okay. And not only did we discover Gaudis, we learned more about Xeons with more extended um, instruction sets. So you for you're using both today? Using That's Gaudis. it, yeah. Three, Christoph. Three. Three. The Ponte Vecchia's or the Maxi GPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Gaudi 2s will soon move to Gaudi 3 as they become available in awesome. larger sizes. But also, we saw performance from the Xeon CPUs to do inferencing, especially these detectors. So, looking for signals in the noise, those kind of customers that you, that you uh, love to mention. Um, <laughs> really, we, need, we, want, we needed to be workload first. And when we started talking to Intel and we started trying that out, we really, uh, we really saw something great. We spent eight to nine months really unlocking that. We saw the hardware going in, but fantastic partners, Harmon, Marcus, Mark Castleman, you've heard those wonderful people, but they really showed us what was there. We ran with it, and ultimately we built software that, that we really believe unlocks the power of Gaudi. So a developer, an IDC, Gaudi within IDC. So hit an API, get a fantastic out- outcome, workload first. Xeon, Mac series, Gaudi. That's awesome. What is next for you? Bigger, bigger, more, 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 data. Data, more luck. It's like you, you, you've got to think about it again when, you, when you're talking about separating kind of signal from noise and being informed, not influenced. We need to look at even more content. And as we go out to enterprises within these verticals, within finance, within medical, with specific solutions right now for them, 
AI in some ways needs to be demystified a bit. It's not this magic box that will solve everything. Companies, when they rely on it for the critical mission, whether that's critical mission for government, that's a brand and an advertiser. Maybe that's somebody's call center in a finance company and they want to make sure they're compliant. No one's offering returns that didn't happen. That's where you need it. So we really scaled up. We've, we've just signed um, we just signed a number of agreements with Intel, our strategic alliance. Number one is for Gaudi compute in large numbers. Okay. Into the thousands of Gaudis. That's that exciting. We've committed to over three years, which is fantastic. They let us scale. They let us grow. They give us the price performance that we need. <laughs> They're different from the rest of the market. The price has been great, and we've seen the performance rate as well. And Seeker Flow, our software that runs on it, makes it easy for a developer to pick up and start using IDC, to start using Gouders, to not feel like there's a ginormous switch between, well, I use this, now I'm over here. That's awesome. So what a great use case, okay, using Xeon, Gaudi 2s, soon Gaudi 3, and also our Max and Flex series. So thanks a lot for that, Rob. It was Thank awesome you. to have you here. Enjoy Pleasure. the rest of the show. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you soon. Thank you.